This video will show how to determine a binomial probability by hand. I do have other videos that show how to determine binomial probability using the TI-84 as well as Desmos.com. For the first example, we were given x is a random variable with a binomial distribution where n the number of trials is equal to 8 and p the probability of success is equal to 0 0.2. We're asked to find the probability x equals 1. Looking at the notes below, the probability that x is equal to k is equal to n choose k times p raised to the power of k times the quantity 1 minus p raised to the power of n minus k. So for the first example, we have n equals 8, p equals 0 0.2, and because we have the probability x equals 1, k is 1, which means the probability that x is equal to 1 is equal to 8 choose 1 times p to the power of k, which is 0 0.2 to the power of 1, times the quantity 1 minus p, which is 1 minus 0 0.2, raised to the power of n minus k, 8 minus 1 is 7. Let's write the combination in factorial notation shown here below. 8 choose 1 is equal to 8 factorial divided by the product of 1 factorial and n minus k factorial, which in this case is 8 minus 1 factorial or 7 factorial. When we have times 0 0.2 to the first times 1 minus 0 0.2 is 0 0.8 to the seventh. Let's simplify the quotient involving the factorials. Let's write 8 factorial as 8 times the remaining factors would be 7 factorial. Notice how we have a 7 factorial in the denominator as well. So we have 1 factorial times 7 factorial in the denominator. Notice in this form, 7 factorial divided by itself simplifies to 1. And of course, we still have 0 0.2 to the first times 0 0.8 to the seventh. 1 factorial is equal to 1, and therefore we have 8 times 0 0.2 to the first times 0 0.8 to the seventh. And now we go to the calculator. The exponent of 1 is optional. For decimal places, we have approximately 0 0.3355, which is a percentage is 33.55%. For the second example, again, the random variable x has a binomial distribution where n equals 9, p equals 0 0.3. We want to find the probability x equals 4. So for this example, we have n equals 9, p equals 0 0.3 and k equals 4. The probability that x equals 4 is equal to n choose k, which is 9 choose 4, times p to the power of k, which is 0 0.3 to the fourth, times the quantity 1 minus p raised to the power of n minus k, which is 1 minus 0 0.3 raised to the power of 9 minus 4, which gives an exponent of 5. Let's write the combination using factorials. 9 choose 4 is equal to 9 factorial divided by 4 factorial times 5 factorial. 1 minus 0 0.3 is 0 0.7. Because we have a 5 factorial in the denominator, let's write 9 factorial as 9 times 8 times 7 times 6. The remaining factors would be 5 factorial divided by, let's expand 4 factorial. 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 times 5 factorial. 5 factorial divided by itself simplifies to 1. Let's simplify this quotient further. Notice 2 times 4 is 8, so 8 divided by 8 simplifies to 1. 6 and 3 share a common factor of 3. The 3 simplifies to 1. The 6 simplifies to 2. So now we have 9 times 7 times 2, and then times 0 0.3 to the fourth, times 0 0.7 to the fifth. Going back to the calculator. We have approximately 0 0.1715. which as a percentage is 17.15%. I hope you found this helpful.